Uh, one of our best customers is in Ohio, and we thought as a treat today, we would pop in, give them a surprise pack. I had orders not to leave it with anybody except the... Okay guys, what's going on? It is Saturday morning early and we are headed out. I'm taking Ben and I'm going to pick up Paul. And we are going to go to Columbus, Ohio today. Actually a little bit past Columbus. It's I think Bedell or Bidell, I don't know, Ohio. Uh, one of our best customers is in Ohio and we thought as a treat today we would pop in, give him a surprise pack, maybe sign a couple pictures and say hello in person and thank him for his support of Hostile. So, I think we're going to start doing this more often, so you never know. We might end up showing up at a city where you guys are, but this is the first one. We're going to see how it goes, so follow along for the ride. We're going to have some fun. Get a leg press on the bottom on it, and then... Uh... Hey, Paul, is this a gym? This is, this is uh, my pre-workout kind of place where I like to go to first. But yeah, you can call this a gym. It's a recreational gym. King of Buds. You're showing me Justin Wyatt. Oh yeah, he's got a nasty physique. Where's that kid located? Is he a kid? How old is Justin? And Justin's, I think he's in his like, mid to late 20s. He's actually down near where I am in uh, Oklahoma, I believe. Show Paul show Paul that Justin Wyatt. Yeah, he's good. I'm going to jump on a phone call with him actually next week. I think Paul, you might know him. But how old did you say he was? I want to say late twenties. The name doesn't ring any bells. He's got a nice physique. Yeah, yeah. He's for yeah. classic for body oh, yeah. For body Yeah, that's him on stage. Oh wow. Then that's I'm a sure. nice physique. Yeah. Hey, you get peeled. I mean, like that's that was yeah, that picture. was fourth place. Yeah, yeah. What class was that? Um, supers. He trains hard and heavy, but yeah, he comes. I mean, look for an amateur to be. Oh wow. Putting up on stage like that, he's he's good, man. Yeah. There's a kid. There's a guy named uh, Brandon Barrow. I know Brandon Barrow. You do? He did North Americans last year, I believe. Did you judge him or no? Yeah, I think I did. I, I'm, don't quote me, I believe he was North Americans. If, I, if he was, he was like second or third. Competed against Justin in the in the USA's as well. That's same year. That's the guy, the guy showed you? How did Brandon do? Brandon came second. Look at that, Paul. That's Brandon there, right? Brandon came second to Stu Sutherland. Dude, he, his physique reminds me of Luke's. He's around 270 on stage. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's an impressive fucking physique. How old is he, do you know? I don't know, no. Speaking of up and coming people, do you guys know if the Trend Twins, are those guys gonna compete or are they just bodybuilding influencer guys? I think they're more influencers. I don't, I don't, I don't know for sure. They're influencers now, but yeah. yeah, I know we've talked about them on the podcast. I know like we love their physique, but like, or love their style anyway. Just that all out like train for the fuck of it. I put up the thing of them carrying a gun. <laughs> that lights my polos on. <laughs> right, they're right under that. Listen, I love that fucking don't overthink it. Just train like fucking for fun and yeah, love what you do. Like but it, yeah. I'm just curious if they're going to, I don't really know what their physiques look like stage wise. So I don't know if they're ever going to, if they're ever going to compete or if they're just like, or if they have aspirations, they just love what they're just love bodybuilding. That's hey, what they look like to me, but who is that kid though? You were telling me about somebody put me onto this kid named uh, Sam Sulik. That's Sam. That, how do you spell that? Oh, I've heard the name. S-U-L-E-K. Uh, yeah, I've heard his name. I started looking into him a little bit. He's 21 years old. Kid's a freak. Yeah. And he's got the same mentality like the Trend Twins have. Like, he's not as like, um, I don't think he's as flashy. Nothing. But he's like, look at that, man. How old is he? 21. Really? Do you see? I think he's got. I think he's got some before pictures on his TikTok. I looked at his TikTok. He's got some before, before and afters. It's crazy the fucking transformation. In a short amount of time. And he's only 21. Oh, shit. The thing is, I, I don't think anybody has him signed. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like he's 21 because, you know, like the last, most of the guys we look at to sign are usually, you know, 30 and up. Yeah. It'd be nice to sign somebody like at the start of their career, like, mm -hmm. you know, getting going. Oh, he's got a big YouTube. Yeah, I looked at his YouTube. It's nuts. He's like 220,000 subscribers. He's, 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 he's really popular. Where is he? I think he's in Columbus. Should find him. Message him. Message him. Be like, listen, listen, listen. Message him. Be like, hey, we're we're hostile. Hostile teams in Columbus. We, we're in how, Ohio. How big's Ohio though? But say, just I don't know. But just say we're in Ohio. Yeah. Are you are you training today? We want to come by and catch a workout. 
Do you want me to? I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to see what this kid looks like in person. You really want me to message him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send him a DM. Hopefully he checks his Instagram. I know he's not that big on Instagram, but <laughs> that'd be fucking cool. <laughs> see what he says hey did you get any photos of the uh orlando pro uh, anything i got a few from the second call out because obviously i have ray in there so uh like the high quality ones at least you hear from, you hear from anybody there what's going on um i got one of my guys actually in the audience yeah he said that hassan Hassan looks pretty decent um probably looks like he's gonna take the show phil pahar's pushing him in second but probably doesn't have a, yeah, enough density or moss on him so are they both in shape? Uh, they look like it from what I've seen. I only had that. They didn't have a live stream, so I was watching on Phil's wife's what? live. What's uh, uh, Phil's hard? What's third, fourth, and fifth look like? Um, it looks like Stan Stanimal is in third. Cuban Flex. I don't know you guys. Real name. I'm sorry. I don't know who your time was. That's his pro debut. I think. Yeah. 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 Great. Well, I think Andrew works him. He's uh, he's got great, great legs on it. Yeah. Hassan's show. Phil looks good though, man. He yeah. does look good. I just think Hassan is just. You know what's, big you know what's insane about bodybuilding? That's 26 year old Hassan and like 45 or 50 year old Phil. Yeah. yeah. And they're going head to head. Yeah. Did that, Sam, did that Sam kid message you back? Fuck. Yeah, like three minutes ago. Look. What does it say? It says, for real, that'd be sick. I'm heading over to Metroflat in Worthington in a few hours. That work. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Message him back. We got... Okay, so we're like... <laughs> How far is that? He's in Columbus, you said, right? Yes. So we're going to go visit this fan, and it's going to take us an hour and a half to get back. So let's say... Ask him if he can do like four o'clock. Well, we're just going to surprise this kid. We're talking about up-and-comers, and we're talking about new guys for Hostile. Yeah. Maybe we'll take a look, see what he's like. All right. Let's scout him out a little bit. Let's scout, <laughs> scout him out. Have a workout. See what his training style's like. So see what his see what, all about. see what his physique looks like. Yeah. yeah this so are you actually want to do this? You go train with this fucking kid. Look, let's just go catch a workout with him. We'll see what he's all about. If he's cool, I'll leave him my number, and hopefully something will come of it. Are you excited? I'm, I'm super excited right now. Do you think he's gonna be like, what the fuck are you guys doing here? Uh, I'm probably, probably going to be a little bit surprised. What if he's upset? I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe he's like, he doesn't like Poppins. Like, I don't like Poppins. <laughs> you, you know I don't like Poppins. He's like, why don't you call first? Yeah, he's like, yeah, I don't really like that. Hi, is Noah there? Yeah, this is Noah. Uh, we have a delivery at uh, your house for Hostile. I'm just wondering if there's somebody here to accept it or if you're here to accept it. Okay, yeah, if you knock on the door, my father will be home. What, are you home? Are you going to be home anytime soon? Um, I can fly there right now, yeah. Yeah, if you could come by just because um, I had orders not to leave it with anybody except the recipient, which is you. All right, I'm walking out of my apartment right now. I'll be there in about... Okay, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Do we hide now? <laughs> Let's go back in the car. Yeah, what I'm going to Uncle June shirt here to get rid of. We already gave all those away. Let's yeah, see this guy here. We go to this. Uh, the second. Yeah. Noah. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. everything going how are you brother good how are you good to meet you hey man good to meet you good good how's it going that's paul i don't know paul oh yeah how's yeah how's it nice going man oh my god how's it going man it's great now <laughs> so how did you surprise you we uh I, when i got the call yeah and it had windsor on it i said there's no way yeah. and then i heard your voice and i said oh there's you're in this call right now 
Uh huh. You mean the call I just put in? Now? Yeah. I said, I messaged my buddy and like, we're a big fan of the podcast, yeah, brand yeah. everything. Yeah. And I said, I just got called from Windsor, Ontario. Yeah. And he's just like, there's no way it could be him. <laughs> it's him. It's him. So we wanted to let my house. Uh, <laughs> some of the best guys you'll ever meet, Dad. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah your dad found us sitting on his porch, loitering. <laughs> I said, what are you doing? He decided to. He said, what are you doing on my porch? I said, ah, we're just waiting for your son. So he let us in and. Uh, yeah, man. Oh. <laughs> this is insane. Yeah. What? You know, we saw how, like, loyal and how much she support the brand. And we wanted to do kind of something to give back. So yeah. I brought you a special pack with some extras, T-shirts, shakes. Do all that My for you. Is tomorrow. This, oh, is, are you serious? this is probably the best birthday. How old is it? 26. Yeah, that was really yeah. Gosh, man. This is crazy. That's awesome. I didn't know it was your birthday. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I got like the email for the package going to be sent, oh, I was you like, oh, it was probably for like a birthday or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sure. uh, <laughs> <laughs> I already know. I know. All right, there you, there's mine. <sighs> ben, you want to? Man. <laughs> Yeah. This is insane, man. This is incredible. I'm glad you're happy, man. It's, and it's even cooler that it's your birthday. I didn't even know. Yeah, That's awesome. That's the reality I have to expect for myself is I'm going to be 26 tomorrow. Yeah. Not running out of time, but obviously I... No, you're I'm still... A tad you're later. Like, look, you know? you're still young, obviously. Like, there's still tons of time. Um, you have to find the balance for you. Like, for me, maybe I went too hard and I got too heavy in the off season. Yeah. Some people stay weight pounds, from the right? Right, and that's, <laughs> that, that, that could contribute to bulk yeah. out your waist. Yeah, but then there's guys that stay too lean all year round. Yeah, and then that to our operations guy I said, "Give me your top five supporters in America." And you were one of the top <laughs> five, and you were kind of closest to where we were, where I yeah. could just drive here. And Ben was already at my house because he came to visit for the show stuff that we were yeah. doing for the Detroit Pro. So I thought, well, Ben's here. And Paul's here, and we just jump in a car and come visit. So you're kind of the closest person to us. Now, we might do it for other people, but yeah. this one seemed like the right one to do at this time. So <laughs> I just felt right. More but, than uh, you guys know. We just want to kind of show our appreciation, that's all. So listen, man. It's good. It's good seeing all you yeah. guys. Good meeting all you guys yeah. again. Nice Thanks, guys. Good yeah, luck man. in the journey, man. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Mm -hmm. I'll see you soon. Okay, brother. Thank you. And he seems like a really, really nice kid, which is. I like simple little math fractions, I'm really good at. Everybody's good at simple math. You couldn't do that. 320 divided by 4, I yeah. can't do that? Tell me right now. It's 80. Well, because I told you. <laughs> okay, let's go 420. 420 divided by what? By 4. Is, uh... Gee, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay guys, it's been a long day of driving. We went and saw Noah Sias, our awesome supporter. We had a good visit with him and his dad. And now we're back at Metro Fitness Worthington because... We linked up with Sam Sulik for a workout. Um, kind of been watching this guy a little bit over the course of the last few weeks, and he's really impressive. I don't know how big he is, I don't know how tall he is, but I figure we'll go in, catch a workout. I'm gonna make Ben put him through the ringer and uh, see what he's made of. Maybe he could be a hostile athlete, or maybe he'd just be a cool kid to work out with. All right, like I said, he's 21. How tall? Like 5'11". 5'11". A little bit of change. How how big? How What's the weight? Weight right now at 245. All right, so in your videos, yeah. you look pretty lean. Is that real or is it shopped? No, it's, 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 a, it's <laughs> not going to Photoshop. That's crazy. All right, 5'11", 240 at 21. And if you've seen his videos on YouTube or TikTok, he's fucking in good shape. And this is your bulk season. Yeah, like this will be like the softest I'll get. When are you competing? Are you going to compete? Probably eventually, but I don't have any plan yet. I got an idea. We're doing the Detroit Pro. That's our show. Me, Ben, and Paul. April April, tw April 21st. I can say that happen. Next year. But, uh, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to disclose this information, but I tore my hamstring two days ago. Oh, my God. So you guys, you and Ben can do barbell rows. Yeah. And me and Paul will hit a machine and we'll meet up after. Oh, sure. So you, start, you start your back workouts with barbell rows? Yeah. Well, I'll start it with some kind of heavy row. Yeah. Like either barbell or just like the heavy... Well, not heavy, but whatever. The hammer so strength opposite row. Because mo most people will start with a pull down to kind of open everything up. For me, it's more like I want to start with the row because that's where I'm the strongest. I if I do pull downs first. See, this is what happens when you're 21. And you just get into the heavy fucking shit and it don't matter. <laughs> Alright, 
Are you gonna put a belt on? I normally will, yeah. I never mess with the belts. No. I, I always get flack for not wearing them. But I, just, I just don't like the pressure. If you're, I'm always big on, you gotta do what's comfortable for you. Like, I never squat in a rack. I always squat out. Yeah. Cause I just don't like feeling that claustrophobia. Oh, sure. And I think that if I feel like this, <laughs> the lift is gonna go wrong. I got you. Whereas I feel comfortable, that's always a better situation to lift in. Yeah. So fuck what people say, like, you should do this, shouldn't do that. You should do what feels right for you. Dude, for me, it's get 10. Get fucking 10 here. Easy way, mate. Run those elbows. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yo, go. Yo. Come on. Come on. Oh, good. That shit's really raw, man. Well, it's probably more kind of meatheadish in the beginning. Nah, I like it. Like the first half is when I'm really trying to throw around whatever. Yeah. And then at the end, a little more. Like I could come back to pull downs. But drop the weight to like almost be half like, and be perfect. And go real slow. Yeah, yeah. How many sets do you usually do? Like for all back? 12, 15. Yeah. Maybe. I, I cut a little shorter. Like I'll, I'll do just like 11. Yeah. Get 15, right? No matter what. We'll keep this moving. Let's go. Big fucking set, man. There you go. Any better. Yup. Come on now, go. Right here. Good. Good. Come on. Five. Four. Come on. Come on. Three. Two. Go one. There you go. Uh, come on. Good. Let's go. Six. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. One more. The range is short. Yeah. You want your back to explode? Of course. Open that shit up. Yeah. That's it. I notice when you do it, you pull, but your whole body kind of goes forward yeah. instead of letting your arm go. And then when you pull back, you're coming off, way off the pad instead of digging your elbows, right? So you want to like, you think you keep the shoulders in the same so what you're trying to do is like, open the shoulder all the way out yeah. and then bring it all the way back, yeah. right? Instead of moving, you're kind of moving your whole body, right? In and out, yeah. instead of like you're caving your chest in and out instead of opening the shoulder all the way. Good. Good, that's it, that's it. All under control, good. Elbows, good. Good. Come on, you got it. All the way back, all the way back, good. Go. I got you, I got you. Keep that chest down. Squeeze those elbows, good. Come on, two more. Squeeze those elbows, one more. Pull. That's it. The two old guys got in, got a good back workout. Actually had a pretty good pump considering they've been fucking driving all day long. Ben and uh, Sam went through hell today. We got a pretty good one in. And we're gonna see what the uh, kind of physique the young man has to offer. So, is there a posing room somewhere we can go? Uh, Your back is bigger, back's you mean? Yeah. Been pretty big. Yeah. yeah. Good, that's what you need. Yeah. Honestly, as of late, the shoulders have been catching up. I don't know if you know Sam, but Paul's an IFBB judge. What's it, what, do you, what do you think? Fuck, you look good, man. Did you, did I show you? He's, he's, he's going to do our show, our, our show first. Holy yeah, I got to do the first one. 21 years old. Oh, damn. Oh. 
All right, all right. Let me call him up. Do a front, do a front relax. Front relax. Yeah. Hey, tell me how to do it. I've... <laughs> yeah, 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 like that. Okay. Yeah. Chest up, chest up a little bit. Chest up a little bit. Yeah, like that. There you go. No, no, he's fine. Leave him, leave him. Do that, do that, do that. Oh, yeah. Hey, you tell me what to do. Okay, do a front double bicep. Do a front lat spread. Side chest. Okay, wait. Wait. Drop this shoulder. Yeah. Drop this shoulder. Lean forward. But open the shoulder back. Pull this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Chest up. Chest up. Yeah, but drop your shoulders, but push your chest up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, turn to the back. Wider. Wider, wider. Open that way. Push that way. That way. No, go like this. Round it out. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, do a back double bicep. Yeah. Drop your drop your shoulders. Yeah. Now round your round your. Yeah. There. Drop your shoulders now. Yeah. Good. No, that's fine. That's fine. Do a side tricep. Pull the shoulder back. Yeah. Down. Yeah. There you go. Hold that. Now bring the shoulder around. Yeah. Lean forward a bit. Yeah. yeah. Stomach, pull it in. Yeah. Pull that shoulder back again. <laughs> okay, that's okay, that's okay. Do a most muscular roll. Grab your wrist like that. Yeah, squeeze it. Yeah, there you go. Do this way. Grab your wrist. Grab your wrist like that and pull your hands in. Okay, do hands on hips. Grab your grab your thighs right here. Yeah. Now lean forward just a little bit. Chest up though, chest up. Yeah, look at that. All right, so we just saw Sam do some fucking posing. I got Paulie here, an IFBB judge, and Ben, who's been around, been around pros and coached pros for a number of years now, and all of us are a little bit fucking mind blown <laughs> by what we're seeing on a 21-year-old. Uh, I don't know what the legs look like, but judging by how he trains, the intensity and the ruthlessness of it all, the raw talent, I have a feeling the legs are the same. Uh, I don't normally do this, but after seeing all the content and seeing the training style, seeing the physique and the attitude, the like work hard fucking attitude, no bullshit. Sam, I'd like you to, uh, I'd like to offer, you have to obviously take some time and think potentially, but oh yeah, I'd like to offer you a contract with Hostile. Oh shit. So I don't know if you need to take some time to think about it. Obviously we'll have to discuss you know Details. what it's going to look like in detail but yeah since you're not signed with anybody i'd like to extend the offer oh, yeah. oh that'd be sweet glad i, so glad I think I performed huh I'm glad i performed in the lift <laughs> <laughs> look man listen honestly ben knows we kind of pride ourselves on finding new and exciting talent and Fucking Sam is one in a million, man. It's not every day, and Paul knows we've been around this sport for 30 fucking years. Yeah, it's not every day you find a 21 year old with this kind of physique and this kind of, it's not just the physique. It's the fucking work ethic that goes with the physique and the day in, day out grind. So yeah, man, if we can, uh, if we can figure out what would, what would make you, make, what would make us both happy, then yeah. I'd be uh, happy to have you join the team. No, for sure, that'd be sweet. All right. Thanks. All right, we're gonna go. Well, first, the only the caveat is I got to make sure he can eat. Because anybody who joins Team Hostile has to be able to fucking eat. So we're going to go grab a bite to eat, see uh, what kind of food he can put down. And then we're going to wrap this thing up. I'm so fucking sick and tired of people that overthink everything. And the fucking most fucked up part is the guys who overthink everything are usually not the best guys. But what would you say his quote, his post was? Uh, uh, Optimal trainers, sub 200 pounds. Yeah, what was it? <laughs> You're never gonna see a science-based lifter above 200 pounds. <laughs> right? yeah. But I remember I was, I was with a girl, yeah. and I was like talking shit a little bit, because the amateurs came out first. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that'd be easy if I cut down. <laughs> but then the bigger guys who were like maybe, you know, 210 lean, yeah. Yeah. they come out. And like me seeing them totally dice compared to me, like a little softer, 
she looks at me she goes well could you beat them yeah and in my mind i'm like logically like, yeah probably but i was like oh, i don't know so I, when I drove home, I was like pissed. Yeah. So lit a fire. I was like, now I got to. You know what? Isn't that great? That's I, my story. Yeah. That's that, my fucking story. That's a great story. No, no, that's like, my story. Would you have saw Louis? So I went to compete. So a friend of mine, Lou Joseph, was or not? It was Mike. Mike Coyle. Oh yeah. So a friend of mine was competing at the time. So we went to watch the Toronto Pro Am. He did the amateur, and then the pros came out. When he was on stage, I was like, I think I could do that shit. I was being all cocky. <laughs> And one of my friends who was already a competitor was like, well, I fucking bet you can't do it then. So I died and got ready for the show the next year. And I won the overall at my first show. And then I liked it and I was like, I'm gonna keep going. So I won the next show and then I did the nationals and I got my pro card like a few years later. Same fucking story, just some, something just like lit a fire. I was like, I'm gonna go. You know, some lifters lift with like logbook only and all that shit. I don't think that's bad. If that's your thing, that's cool. But for me, if I don't feel good when I leave, I, I base my workouts more on instinct than on numbers. If I don't feel like I fucking killed my workout or achieved what I wanted to achieve, then I'm like, fuck, I gotta step it up tomorrow. So it's the same. I get it, man. I get what you. I like what you're doing. It's good. This is how you get big. Yeah, honestly. Your chair. Oh, you got no cheese? Yeah, right. How do you have cheese? I got bakery and cheese. I think this is good. This is how. This is how we sign contracts at Hostile. We break bread. <laughs>